Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Garage is still a mess, we got the car still apart. We just got our brand new roll of wrap. Got a little bit of damage here. Naturally, because the bumper's off, it would usually start there, but I've never wrapped with this. I've only done gloss, I've never done a matte wrap. We're gonna be starting with the hood today. Let's open up this box, see if the wrap's still good, because... What does that say? Post heat, all corners, stretches, da 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 Okay, let's see here. All right, guys, here we go. The new color of the Z06 is gonna be... Oh, man. There she is, guys. We're going back to green, but we're going to a matte green this time. I saw that satin matte black Z06, and it looks so good in matte that I wanted to try that out. So we're going back to green, something kind of similar to what the C8 originally was, a little bit darker. Oh man, I can't wait. Let's see if we took on any damage there. No, it's okay, got a little bit of damage up here on the, the edge, but it should be good to go. So what's interesting is I ordered one roll. The sticker in here says 60 by 25, which I guess is 60 inches by 25 yards. I didn't order that much. I don't know how much they sent me. Jeez, got a ton of it though. First thing, we're gonna prep the area, so we're gonna start with the hood, because this is the flattest surface. Thought this would be the easiest. Car is not washed, but the hood is PPF, so we're not gonna damage the paint by doing this. And I didn't want to put the car back on the ground just to go for a car wash. Probably wrap the hood and the bumper, get the car back on the ground, give it a wash for the rest of the wrap. But for the hood, we'll just do a simple little cleanup real quick. Make sure you pop the hood, be very thorough, get all the edges. The wrap has to be able to stick to the edge in order for it to stay down. Take your time and be very, very thorough. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm using half alcohol, half water in this. 99% isopropyl alcohol and then water. All right, you're gonna need a few tools. We got a tape measure, a knife, some squeegees, a cutter and some fresh gloves. Let's go and measure out the hood. I would safely say 62 to 63 inches wide. Then we're probably looking at about, let's go 45 just to be safe. 45 by 63. All right, so all these rolls come in 60 inches wide. The hood is 62 inches wide. All right, look at this green. It's got a little bit of flake in there. So I've never done a matte wrap. I've only done gloss. Gloss is pretty easy. Matte, I hear, is a little bit harder. All right, so we need 63 inches. Ooh, and I think if you cut it from the back, you can see exactly what line to go with. So which line is 63 inches? Looks like it's got air release, that's good. Then we still need to make one more cut because this is 63 inches. For this, we said we only wanted 45 inches, I believe. Yeah, we said we wanted to do 45 to be safe. All right. So we're gonna roll this piece up, keep it for later. You need to add one more thing to the tool list, a heat gun. Let's make sure that we cut it right. Make sure that it covers the entire hood. Looks like we got full coverage there. Should be good to go. Let's do one more final wipe down. Don't wanna have any hair or dust particles underneath it. All right, here we go, you ready? Looks pretty dang good. Not bad for our first lay down. All right, and then we just gotta pull this over here. Oh baby, full coverage. Yeah guys, get a second hand to help you out with that because laying it down flat like that's gonna help out so much. When you gotta go and pick it up and relay it, pick it up, relay it, man, that gets really frustrating. Ah oh, man, looks like I got a dot right in the middle there. Oh well, it is what it is. Looks like the air release works really well in this. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I'm just gonna take my time with this one because I have no idea what I'm doing. You guys use your squeegees. Make sure you use a new one because if you get some dirt in here, you can really scratch up the wrap. So it's not that bad, not too hard to use. It's really, really easy. You just gotta really just, just take your time, you know? Be patient with it. Lifts up really easy. And even if you make a mistake, it like comes out really fast, really easy. Look at that. Woo, about halfway there. Pull this up so I can get this air out of there.
slit here. Let's see where that gets us. A little bit deeper. Don't go too deep. She's all done, let's check it out. Dude, when this car is all green like this, it is going to look nuts. Oh, I love this. Guys, if y'all are looking at getting some wrap, this is not a paid product sponsorship or anything. KPMF, and it lays down really nice. Very easy to use. It sticks really well to the edges. I like that stuff. Next piece is gonna be the bumper. That'll be in the next video. We gotta take out all these pieces and then lay down the wrap. It's gonna be a fun one. Well, that's the hood wrap on a C8 Corvette Z06. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.